We are in Internet Information Services, or IIS, in Windows Server 2019. Let's take a look at the default document and how to edit that. So if you have multiple websites, you actually have a default document option for each different website. However, at the top of the list here, we see the name of our server and we see default document. Let's go ahead and double click on that. And we can see our default document is going to be default HTM, et cetera, et cetera, all these different in, in order. If we want to move one of these up or down, all we have to do is highlight it and click move up or we can move, click move down. If we want, we can also add a custom different uh, default document. So let's say that we have one and we're calling it uh, test1.htm. And we can see that that's now at the top. However, this just changes the default document for any new websites that you add. If you have an existing website, you need to actually go to that website, default website as we see here, and we need to go to default document, and we can go ahead and edit, so let's go ahead and move default htm up, like that, click yes, and now we see default htm is back on top. However, if we go back to application, uh, pardon me, the server, and click on default document, we see that test one is uh, still the top default document. And that's because that's just for any new websites that you create. So if we create another website, add website, and we'll call this one test two, and we'll just give it uh, the default path here. Click OK. There we go, there's test two and we go to our default document, you can see test1.htm. Let's say that we're gonna use index.htm as our main page. So let's go ahead and go to the top. So now we see index.htm as our main page on test two, whereas on the default website, it's still set to default.htm. So this top one is just for uh, a template or um, a default when creating new websites, whereas you still have to go into each individual website to set your default document. And that's how we set our default document or make changes to it in Windows Server 2019.